it is freezing here in miami just kidding dudes your boy is here sitting comfortable in ohio but there's some interesting things going on the race isn't even over yet but i want to talk about it right now on the channel what's up guys it's chad welcome back to the dorky and 40 rc channel long time no talk interesting enough though last video i made will they follow their own rules well if you look all over the facebooks and you've been watching slow-mo videos and zoomed in shots it's like 007 mi6 everybody is out there taking a look at what the competition is doing to their cars and it should be no surprise that there are reports of people using voodoos that nobody can even get yet voodoos that people ordered that they have not got yet bodies that people like don't even have access to yet and who knows what else is going on so it's just hilarious that i made that video about a month three weeks ago and here we are already crap is hitting the fan everything is going on somebody's going to win this race there's going to be a new hotness out there i tell everybody don't go out and buy the winning esc the winning whatever because you really don't know what is inside that car or anything else until things are over with some people will be transparent but they will only be transparent to a certain point because there's money involved there's sponsorships involved and all that kind of stuff not everybody's keeping it real like you and i it looks like the sport just keeps on growing and growing. I have to say I am extremely jealous that I cannot be out there racing at all. The salt on the roads and stuff here, man, we're looking at probably, who knows, another month or so. I've got a big old castle motor that I'm ready to test that baby in back there, though. We are ready to rock and roll. But we come back with a few updates here on the channel, talking about this race, getting ready for King of the Streets. There's been some cool product releases. Nothing really that has attracted my eye or made me want to switch anything. I'm really interested to see how price increases and stuff are going to affect the hobby i've seen a lot of stuff coming out from five star and i have some questions about that you know how much is that custom milled custom built transmission going to be are we really going to put a two or three hundred dollar transmission into one of these cars right here that costs 400 bucks i don't really know how they get it out the door for less than 100 if they do then that's awesome maybe i'll try it maybe i won't but anyway, keep an eye out, guys. It will be interesting to see how the winner or the top whatever are kind of picked apart piece by piece to see exactly what they were running under the hood and if they followed those rules. So we will see you guys on the flip side. Peace.